Hey guys, it's Holly, and it's time for another Deco Squishy collab. This one is with the lovely Chelsea DIY and JoJo's Crafty Love. We decided to take this Silly Squishies unicorn and turn it into a Halloween unicorn. Well, mine's not really a unicorn anymore, but we decided to make it Halloween. So sometimes with blank squishies, the paint doesn't stick to it, so I'm just gonna be using some sandpaper to rough up the edges. This is a tip I got directly from Mariah Elizabeth, so thank you to her. This was extremely weird to do. I've never sanded a squishy before. <laughs> so to make my cake into Oogie Boogie, I need to cut up a squishy and I had an extra smushy mushy so I'm sorry friend I'm gonna cut off your ear trim that down and then use some fabric glue to glue that onto the top and then I'm gonna cover the whole top part with a generous amount of fabric paint to kind of get into the nooks and crannies to make it look not like a horn anymore I recently found this stuff called fabric medium at Michael's it's by Martha Stewart and you basically can use it to turn any acrylic paint into fabric paint and this may not be for everyone but I really really love the texture of it and it is a little bit watery but it is a lot more opaque than fabric paints. I started off with a layer of fabric paint and it dried pretty much clear but then I only had to do like one or two coats of the acrylic and it was completely opaque. So I much prefer using this and I'm going to start using it now and I also really like the look of matte paint. So you can really do whatever you want with this. So then I added some black stripes to represent Jack Skellington's coat. And then I painted the roses on the cake orange, purple, and yellow. And the orange I mixed myself with red and yellow paint, so it looks a little red, but we're just gonna say it's orange, okay? Then for the fun part, I added the details onto Oogie Boogie, making him have stitches because he's essentially a big bag that's stitched together. And Oogie Boogie is usually pretty mean, but I really wanted him to be really cute, so I gave him a cute little face. And since this is a Tim Burton movie, after all, I decided to add a little bit of grunge to the flowers. They were looking a little bit too pretty, if you know what I mean. And I also added some, like, cross-hatching to Oogie Boogie, since, again, he is like a sack. And then I painted the bottom black. I wanted to add one last little detail, so I made a Jack Skellington bow tie. I just painted it onto a silicone mat and added the white details. And then when it was dry, you can just peel it off. And then I glued it onto the squishy. And that is it for my Nightmare Before Christmas themed cake. It doesn't even look like a unicorn cake anymore. I think it came out really, really cool. I love this a lot, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you check out Chelsea DIY and JoJo's Crafty Love. Again, I will link their videos down below in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will talk to you later. Bye.